Hello everyone. Uh, this is my video of a proof of concept. Uh, this is um, a Dell 19 inch monitor, uh, 1280 by 1024, running on a stock Arcade One of Generation One PCB. Now, when these units were first introduced back in 2018, uh, you know, it, it was these, these things were amazing and still are. Um, you know, you could bring the arcade home in a cabinet, small form factor. Um, it was the first time that you could really do this. Uh, other companies had attempted, but Arcade One Up uh, was the ver first company to do it successfully. Well, a common question was from people is, well, can I? They didn't really like the monitor. Uh, it, it served its purpose, but it was washed out and didn't have really good viewing angles. Um, so a question was asked, well, can I upgrade this with a different monitor, a 17-inch monitor, or a bigger one with 19-inch? And the answer I always come across was, no, you can't do it. Uh, there were a few monitors out there that could work, but, um, but they weren't cost-effective. And basically, for a cabinet that was relatively expensive, you wouldn't want to spend like two, $300 on another monitor to put in there. So the question comes up occasionally, I see in the forums and things like that on Facebook is, you know, hey, someone asks, hey, can I hook this up to um, the actual Arcade 1-Up PCB? And it came up again and uh, very, very sneaky uh, commented to, one, to the user. So very, very sneaky started explaining that um, basically that all Gen 1-2 games are essentially 1280 by 1024. And it wasn't possible to replace the 17-inch LCD with something larger that's the same resolution. Um, he, uh, he explained some issues with doing a bigger monitor that was 16 by uh, 1200. Uh, but he explained that if you got a really old monitor, um, you could basically get the, uh, as long as you had an inverter, um, you may be able to get this to work in one of those older cabinets. And this was something that I wasn't aware of that you could do. So that caught my attention and I was like, okay, well, if that's true, um, let me see what I can do. So I got a 19 inch monitor um, from, from Dell. It was a Dell monitor um, that I had. It was a, a model 1908 FPT. So what I did was, um, the first step I did was when I first did a mod my first mod was a Street Fighter 2 and I followed the directions from ETA Prime. And um, so he had a video to do that. So the first thing I did was uh, I got those parts out. You know, I've had them stored because I took apart my Street Fighter 2. And um, so I got two things. One, I got the LDVS cable. Because I figured since this is set up to work with it, this may work with the actual Arcade 1-Up if I, you know, if I swap out the cable that's in the Dell that's plugged in into its LCD controller board, I can take that cable out, plug it into the monitor that's in there, and then put that directly onto the um, PCB for the Arcade 1-Up. Then I also needed a way to power the lights. So on that particular card that I bought, it happened to have an inverter board with the uh, four um, CCL FL um, ports for the lights, which the Dell just happened to have four CCFL um, lights on it. So I could use that inverter board, plug it up to there, and then plug that inverter board into the Arcade 1-Up. So that's those are the two things I did. And then I didn't need anything else from the LCD controller board, just those, that cable and the inverter board and the cable for the inverter board. And once I did that, uh, I plugged it up to the Dell, and sure enough, it worked. Um, it connected it up and um, everything seemed to work. So, so far, by doing that, uh, just replacing the uh, cable from this uh, controller board and uh, the um, inverter board that came with it, with this particular one, I was able to get the PCB to run on the 19-inch Dell monitor. So now I'm gonna show you video of it working. And uh, there's a few caveats to this. Uh, one, this is a proof of concept. Um, now, you can watch the video and pretty much determine how to do this yourself, but this isn't a how-to video. Um, 
at some point I'm going to create a how-to video uh, unless someone beats me to it. Um, just a matter of time if, you know, for me to do it. But um, this is not, so if you attempt to do this, you do it at your own risk because, um, again, I got everything hooked up. Uh, it's relative, it is relatively simple to do. You're just plugging in cables and things of that nature and decasing the cabinet or just decasing the monitor to plug these cables up. However, I haven't like, I don't say in the video like, for example, the connector that plugs into the uh, Arcade One Up PCB. You have to make sure you plug that in the correct way because um, if you do it backwards, you may short out your board. Uh, the same thing when plugging it into the back of the uh, monitor on the Dell. Uh, you got to make sure that you plug that in correctly. Now, there should only be one way to plug it in, but, you know, you can't force it in. It just kind of slides in. So those are the things I haven't really done yet uh, because, again, it's a proof of concept, and I was just seeing if I could do this. Um, so, again, you know, you just make sure that when you know that you do this at your own risk if you attempt to try to do it. Secondly, I did this on an Asteroids PCB, but this should work with any Gen 1 um, board as they, they're pretty much the same. Uh, some Gen 1 boards are including like the first one, like the 12-in-1, uh, the first Galaga, uh, Centipede, uh, Asteroids, and even should work, I'm not for certain, but it should work with the Mortal Kombat 2 that you received from Walmart. Um, it won't... It, and which gets me to my next point. I'm not sure if these will work with Gen 2 or Gen 3, this uh, process. Um, I'm not sure how those boards look like. Um, so I'm not sure if they, these would even work anyway. That's why I said the M Walmart uh, Mortal Kombat 2 was technically a Gen 1, I believe, whereas the Costco one was a Gen 2. So that's what uh, the difference is between the two. So as far as Gen 2 and Gen 3, I don't think it's going to work. But again, I haven't tested it, but I know... Gen 1s should work. And finally, you may not have the inverter board that's needed for this um, that has the four uh, CCFL lamp uh, ports on it. And I'm going to also show you a second video on how to use the Dell inverter board that's in the Dell monitor itself. Um, and I'll show you that video as well and uh, some of the caveats and stuff like that for, for doing it that way. So with that being all said, uh, we'll go ahead and start the video. Uh, the first video being um, how to set it up using the um, LDVS cable and the inverter board. Okay, so here's what I have. Um, so basically, the only thing that I've done is you know, I took the back off this and I took the cable. So I had the Arcade 1UP uh, LCD controller kit, which you buy online. I bought the one that specifically has this uh, inverter on it because we'll need to use it because that's what the, the, these Dell computers have. Now, depending on your computer, this should work with other computers, but you're going to have to determine what how the uh, ends are connected to get power to the LED lights. In this case on the Dell, it uses four, and this inverter kit that I specifically put on Amazon in the comments uh, to buy is this inverter kit. So basically, I took I bought the, I just bought the LCD uh, controller kit. I took the cable, the uh, LDVS cable. I took the one that was in the Dell one out, okay, um, and I plugged it in to here, okay, and um, then I uh, just ran the cable. And then I so basically, I had to take this panel off, which is four screws on the side here, and I took that panel off and I exposed the uh, the LDVS uh, cable, and I took that out and I unplugged it from the uh, inverter board that's on here. Um, so once I did that, then I plugged this in, and I when I put the panel back on here and screwed it in with the four screws, I just kind of had it coming out for right now for my proof of concept, uh, and then plugged that into the Arcade 1UP PCB. Now the inverter board, again, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in these, um, I took them out here, there's two in the top, two in the bottom that plug into the Dell, so I'm just taking these with the little clip on the top and just plugging these in. So then we're just, they just should just slide in. Okay, there we go. 
then we got this one and that one all right and then that inverter board will plug into the inverter port that's on the arcade one up pcb so and as you can see we don't have any power going to the uh, monitor the actual dell monitor because we don't have to basically we got the actual display um coming from the, the, the monitor here into the PCB, and we got the power for the uh, lights, the inverter, coming from, you know, the RK1 panel. So basically, we're just using the LCD panel. Technically, if you did it this way, you can take this off, you can take all these other components off, and just use the uh, Dell LCD. So I mean, so let's, uh, let me get everything hooked back up, and uh, we'll turn it on and see if it works. Okay, so now I got everything kind of making sure nothing's touching the back right now because this cable's so short. The, uh, the inverter already has plastic around it, so I can leave it hanging like that. I got power to the PCB, and uh, I, I don't even need this panel. I could take that off if I want. Um, right now it's plugged into the back through a uh, cable, but I could take that off. So again, with this setup, all you need is the panel. Everything else can go away. But let's see what happens when we turn it on, and it should power on. And there we go. There it is, and it's coming up, and it plays, and it will play fine. So if I, excuse me, if I go to like Tempest, well, let's just go to Asteroids. There's Asteroids. I always forget that this works. So it does work, and as you can see, that's all you need. If you buy the if you buy the um, if you buy that um, arcade one up LCD kit, if you're buying the kit, thinking ah, I, I'm going to put a Raspberry Pi in there, or I'm going to put a computer in there, and I need that kit to convert the 17 inch computer to HDMI to plug it in. Well, if you buy it and you want to just plug it up to your PCB. You know, all you need to do is, hey, I need to take this cable. If you bought the correct kit with this convert uh, inverter, then you just replace the cable that's in the Dell and plug it in the PCB, and then take your four lights on this particular Dell, plug them in, and put it, you know, plug it into the inverter port on your PCB, and you're good to go, and it should work. Um, so I showed you how to do this with a third-party inverter. Now I'm going to show you how to do this using the Dell uh, inverter that's in the monitor. And this should work, but there are a few uh, caveats to doing it this way. So now there's another, there is another way to do this, and that's by using the power. So basically, let's just say you bought the LCD controller kit, and it didn't have that inverter. Let's just say you didn't have this inverter, okay? didn't come with this inverter for the Dell or you have a different 19 inch monitor you're trying to hook up to and it doesn't have four of these here well what can I do then well you can try to find an inverter board for it that will you know you know because sometimes this may have two uh, lights so you'll have to find an inverter board that'll handle two lights and things of that nature uh, don't know how much it cost but there's another way you can do this if you really wanted to do it this way uh, and that's used the inverter board that's in the Dell. So in this case, we don't unplug these. These stay in because the inverter board that's in here is gonna power it. But we're still gonna run the signal from the monitor to the uh, PCB. So it's still gonna be plugged in. And But the only difference is we're gonna have to apply power to the monitor. Okay, so we're gonna have to have, so we're gonna have to plug the power to the monitor which is this cable, of course, power cable right here. So you're going to have to have this, you know, regular power cable. So, um, again, it provides power to the cable. Now, before you start thinking, oh, well, I can use the USB ports then, right? No. I mean, it's still a computer. Um, you're not going to be able to use all that um, because that's all plugged into a different, the LCD controller board that's in the uh, Dell, uh, which we're not using at all. Um, so 
basically I don't think you'll be able to do that. Um, I don't think it's going to detect it. So anyway, but regardless, we're just using the monitor and then we're going to power it up. Okay, so again, we got everything hooked up, but now there's one caveat to this. Now, because the monitor is plugged in here and the inverter board is not plugged in here, when you turn on the monitor, it's going to go all white. And that's normal because right now you don't have, because the, in, the inverter board or the uh, LCD board, um, it's just powering the inverter. But the LCD board, it doesn't see a connection from the LCD controller board that's inside the Dell to the monitor because it's going here. And it has no way of knowing that it's not connected yet. So that white screen is going to pop up uh, when you power down your uh, Arcade One up. So the best way to do it is just you'd have to leave your power option here so that when you're done playing, you'd have to power it off. But when you power it on, but when you turn it, uh, when you turn it on, you'll get that signal again. And the white screen will go away and it will uh you'll play the game and there you go so again it's playing you just don't have you, in this case you just don't have the inverter um it's better to have the inverter uh so that you don't have to power up the monitor at all but if you don't have that particular inverter or if you have a different, uh, you know, if you have a Samsung monitor or you have some other 19-inch monitor that you hooked up, or a 17-inch monitor will work as well. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, if you don't want to worry about having an inverter, then you just have to plug in the monitor. Just make sure you have this powered up. Um, but, uh, again, the caveat is once you turn off the machine, the screen's going to go white. And that's because it can't find a signal to the Dell uh, inverter board because it's there, right now it's it, right now it's saying that there's no signal. So again, you just have to turn power off to the monitor to make sure that does go away. <clears throat> so there you have it. Um, again, it is not it is possible to hook up a external monitor in this case a Dell monitor a 19 inch monitor to a Arcade One Up PCB which is Generation One. Uh, again, I'm unsure if it will work with a Generation 2 or Generation 3, uh, as I do not have those PCB boards. But it is possible if you get the uh, LCD controller kit that um, ETA Prime recommended when you build out, when he uh, first had his video building out the Street Fighter 2, you just need the, the LVDS cable and the uh, inverter board uh, for it. And when you plug it all up, it, should, it works. Now, if you don't have the inverter board, you can hook it up uh, using the Dell inverter board. Uh, just you plug power into the monitor and only hook up the uh, monitor cable uh, to the Arcade One Up. But it has a little side effect of the screen going white when there's not power to the uh, Arcade One Up PCB when it's not turned on. So you may have to keep the power option on the monitor to turn it on, on or off. So that's about it. Uh, I plan on doing a little bit more work. Um, I plan on, uh, if people want it, I will do a how-to video um, for this, uh, how to hook everything up once I get something, other things tested. But as far as I can see, it works. And um, just another option for people if they want to upgrade their monitor um, with the original PCB that comes with Arcade 1UP uh, for their games for Generation 1. Uh, they have that possibility, and these 19-inch monitors are relatively cheap. Uh, if you look around, uh, if you go to like uh, thrift shops or something, you can usually pick them up for like about maybe $10, $15. And buying the LCD controller uh, board, which is probably another $25. So you're talking about investment of around $50 or less. Uh, but it's definitely up to you. But um, I will definitely... Uh, I'm definitely going to continue working on this. It's just a fun little project. And uh, thanks to Very, Very Sneaky for uh, for his post because that's what got me motivated to give this a try. And um, I'll see you later, and thanks for watching.